All the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full, to the place from which the rivers come, there they return again. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 7 Everything under the sun is on the move, and time knows nothing of rest. The solid earth is a rolling ball, and the great sun itself is a star obediently fulfilling its course around some great luminary. Tides move the sea, winds stir the airy ocean, and friction wears away the rock. Change and death rule everywhere. The sea is not a miser's storehouse for a wealth of waters, for as by one force the waters flow into it, by another they are lifted from it. People are born only to die. Everything is hurry, worry, and irritation of spirit. O oh, friend of the unchanging Jesus, what a joy it is to reflect upon your changeless heritage. Your sea of bliss will be forever full, since God himself will pour eternal rivers of pleasure into it. We seek an abiding city beyond the skies, and we will not be disappointed. The text before us this evening may well teach us gratitude. The ocean is a great receiver, but it is also a generous distributor. What the rivers bring to it, it returns to the earth in the form of clouds and rain. Man who is out of joint with the universe takes all, but makes no return. To give to others is but sowing seed for ourselves. He who is so good a steward as to be willing to use his substance for his Lord will be entrusted with more. O friend of Jesus, are you rendering to him according to the benefit received? Much has been given you, what is your fruit? Have you done all? Can you not do more? To be selfish is to be wicked. Suppose the ocean gave up none of its watery treasure, it would bring ruin upon our race. God forbid that any of us should follow the ungenerous and destructive policy of living unto ourselves. Jesus did not live to please himself. All fullness dwells in him, but of his fullness we have all received. Oh, for that same attitude of Jesus, may we henceforth live not unto ourselves. 